We're running out of time, Dennis. You have to step up right now. You know what? I'm yeah. out of here. Ow. 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 What the hell are you doing? They took her. They took our girl. And I will do anything, anything to get her back. Do you understand me? I, I thought it was tremendous. And what really uh, surprised me, I guess, is how cleanly Don's original book fits into your voice as a filmmaker. I thought it was a really perfect match. You've read the book then? I have. Yeah. I'm, I'm a big fan of Don's work in general. Yeah, Don's a very talented, very specific writer. This was his first for him, too, because I loved his Power of the Dog, but this one broke new ground. And as you know, movies can be different from books, but we made a lot of interesting choices, I think. A lot of twists in the movie. Mm -hmm. And you have to, I can't really spoil it for you. Well, and I, I love how there are characters that you turn up a bit, like Dennis. Uh, I think you did a really lovely job of giving Dennis a, a greater sense of why he is who he is. Yes, there's, uh, uh, Dennis is, is actually the mad genius uh, behind all the, uh, the machinations in a way, it turns out. It's a surprise, but uh, I think a good one. But uh, I love Travolta because he does bring a kind of sleazy ambivalence to the role and it's so cool the way he plays it and he's so good, you know. I love watching John. I love watching everybody in the movie. There are six great actors there. Seven, eight, actually. But Can you talk about what you did with them before the shoot to sort of get them comfortable with each other or, or how you helped create that rapport? Well, you had rehearsal, like a, a normal yeah. rehearsal, and uh, we also rehearsed on the set again. Aaron was first in, Taylor was second, Blake third. Uh, they, they, once I had those three, then I went for the older generation, uh, for Salma, uh, John, and, uh, and Benicio. But the, 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 all six of them in the room was great because they got that energy against each other, and I felt like it was growing. The issue, of course, is the bigger issue is what is, what is two, two men and a woman like? I mean, does Can it work? I mean, that is an issue that gets answered in the end, but I can't tell you what it is. There's so much of the physical detailing of the characters that I think is really specific. I, I love the, the things like Lotto's eyebrow or Elena's decision with the, uh, the wig later. It feels like it's very specific stuff. How much of that was th what they brought to you and how much of it was what both, you brought both. to them? Or? No, I mean, by the time you finish a movie with a, the 10,000 decisions involved, you forgot who did, you know, but it's all into a soup, you know. Uh, but. Definitely we try to keep it alive. It is a painful process of staging, rehearsing, but when you get to the set that day, when you shoot it, sometimes you throw it out and you start, and you, and you improvise with new stuff or something occurs to you. That's the beauty of it. Looking back at like Scarface in 83, which you wrote, there's that infamous scene in the shower with the chainsaw. And this movie kind of kicks off with a um, chainsaw <laughs> rampage ah, of sorts. Yeah, yeah. Um, is, is that something that you, you seem to have always kept an edge to the violence in your films? Is that hard to do as we yes, get more graphic? Yeah. It's definitely harder to do, but you don't do it unless it comes out of the story. And frankly, they, why is, I believe he was a gardener in the book, too. Mm -hmm. well, I, I, it just occurred to me that you know, you'd be doing that. But also there's the issue of, you know, it is a rough world. The cartel violence took, has taken the uh, North American, the American continent by surprise, and it's, kind of, it's dangerous and dirty. And it brings Iraq, Afghanistan, it brings it here, home. And, and Sean goes to war there, he brings back his buddies from there. So there's a whole aspect of the wars come home to roost. And the cartel, there's a scene when they talk about IEDs, they don't know what they are. Yeah. And that sort of tells you that everything evolves towards, it's a race to the bottom if you get violent. And once we, we practice violence anywhere in the world, it all comes back here.